What's going on guys? Welcome back for another Red Dead Redemption 2 episode. We're gonna go meet Dutch now. He is somewhere here in this town. Actually, let me just pin him real quick before I completely just lose track of where I have to go. Hello. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have a little bit of a different outfit now. Not too different, I just took off my coat. Now I'm just riding in my yellowish shirt with my new white pants. Looking very, very nice. Alright. Let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get going. Let's see what we can do here. Last episode was really interesting. Um, for those of you that were not here, if you missed it, I suggest you go watch it because it was very, very intense. A little bit more intense than I anticipated. There we go. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched <laughs> paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Well, Tahitians. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. <laughs> I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, shit. this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And you all will. Oh. Now remember, we just want money. All Don't right. Make us Handle kill your you. money now. Mr. S. It's yours. Leave Thomas. these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S. Fix that room back there. A dollar? I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Uh, oh, man. Now, hand it over. Okay. You have a lock the bandit challenge. 81 cents? I said, open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes, of course. Come on. These people are Hand itching over to part with their value. Now. Sorry, sir. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. Who are you? Set up? Hey. Open the damn door! Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. This is a robbery. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! This is a setup, dude. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. Set up. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Get that ass out of Yo. This is not good, boys. Watch those side alleys, Arthur. We got someone about me, too. That bastard is called in every cop. That is not good. Yo, this is not good, dude. Arthur, coming out of the bank on the way. Friday is gonna pay for this. Not good, boys. 
Not good. What the fuck? The thing's broke. Hold on! Shot his helmet. Just Shot you in the neck, man. This is our chance to move. Let's go. Follow Lenny. Ah! Holy crap. What? Are you shooting? We got to get out of here, boys. Booty down, bro. You're dealing with outlaws here. Taking out the entire police department here. That was definitely the mob boss that fucking. That Italian mob boss or whatever. 100%. Oh shit. Let's go. Don't damage that wagon. We need a way out of here. Alright, so don't shoot the wagon. Alright, we can do this. My brand new shirt, man, it's all messed up. Some of these dudes take bullets, man. For real. Oh, that man dodged my bullet. He went. <laughs> he gave me a shoulder lean. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Yo! You will now remain in dead eye when firing without any targets. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Alright, I guess we got an upgraded dead eye. Alright. Well, that was fun. That was tons, tons, and tons of fun. Dutch always has some clear. fun missions, dude. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. <laughs> oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. <laughs> he don't want the likes of you. <laughs> so, don't kill him. What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need. Money. He's robbed him. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. All right, well, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. Let's go back to Dutch. See what the hell, what the hell we got going next. Should be inside the house. Is that him upstairs? Yep. Yeah, that's him. All right, let's go. Giddy up. Let's see what's he got planned now. Right, this should be very interesting indeed. Goddamn freaking Dutch Vanderlin. Always making me get into some sort of trouble. Alright. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? A deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes into heat. <laughs> Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. Oh, my God. You better be right about <laughs> this one. I am. Oh, no, this is not good. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Legras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. 
Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Oh. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Good one, girl. Okay, All right. Follow me. Better hope this is a good one, Dutchie. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Seems like Dutch is mad. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. Mm -hmm. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Oh, why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. There we go, boys. Look for traps. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Oh, God. Great. Oh, now, <laughs> Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile <laughs> to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to <laughs> an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Uh-oh. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Oh, man. Holy crap. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company? Just off. Check the traps with. Search the trap. 
Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Alright. Got snakes and everything here. Looks like this you got nothing, buddy. Right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? <laughs> oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend Look to. Look at that alligator right there. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Yo, we're deep. Than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Dude, this is deep. Yo, what the hell? Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Alright, so the small island is this little patch of land here, I believe. There's an X there. Is there something dead there? Maybe an animal or something underwater? Dude. This is so crazy. Like, look how deep it goes. Look at that alligator over there. Oh, man. So creepy. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa. Broken. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Dude, this is crazy. Watch an alligator fucking bite us now or something. I wouldn't put it past them. Hold up. Hey. What are you doing, Arthur? My God, there's no shortage of them. Whoa. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Holy crap. Alligator swamp. No, 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 no. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. <laughs> we'll go left. <laughs> what? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, no. Find jewels. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. All right. Oh god. Yep, not creepy whatsoever, dude. Fucking alligator swamp. Okay, I'm thinking he's here on this little patch of island. Jules. Hey. 
Someone there? Come on, moron! We gotta go! Jules. Hey! Someone there? Where is this man? Okay, this way. That must be him. Seems like he's trapped. Beckon Jewels. Oh shit, he is trapped. But what side? What? Up here. Up what? Oh my goodness. What the hell? Hey, you in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. <laughs> a monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. oh god. Okay. <laughs> and uh where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Okay, so the boat is kinda stuck with these branches here. Well, now what? Why is this, uh, this man is going the opposite direction that I wanted him to? I got the scarf. It's over here. Uh oh. Stuck. Uh oh. Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. Holy crap. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? <laughs> this gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh! Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. Oh my a giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Go Arthur, go Arthur, go Arthur, go Arthur. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Dude. I'm coming. Help me. I got you, Sim. I got you. Oh. 
Is that? Holy shit! Yo, that shit's huge. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Hold on to an archer. still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. Ah, uh, that's, that's horrible, dude. I've stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. Dude passed out. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Uh-oh. Look who's back. God damn it. Oh no. Put every bullet you got in him. Oh god. Dude, I don't even have any good guns here. Dude is sweating or just wet. Gonna be okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you, both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. <sighs> well, monsters I'm fine with. <laughs> Live with them. <laughs> oh, sorry. I wanted to, um... Oh, we got a gold medal for that. Oh man, that was crazy. Okay. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Revenge Thomas, is a dish best eaten. <laughs> Hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? 
When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Another gator. Oh shit. Hey, you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Interesting. I need to get some freaking health going here, dude. I got literally nothing. Jesus Christ. Holes on frickin' red. Alright, hold on. Is that it? I guess. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go, Johnny boy. <clears throat> let's go. Hmm. Oh, snapadillio, crocodilio. This is going to be... Stay out of sight. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so what now? We got a shot. Something creepy about these statues. So... <laughs> you don't like naked women for the wine on you? It's like someone's looking at you when... Are we just going to kill him? I'd get rid of them. Bring it up with Senor Bro. There we go. That's right, baby. Bring them all out. They're all dying. You and all your fucking servant peasants. You mess with the wrong gang. Look at this buddy old pal right here. Oh, wait a minute. My dead eyes fucked. Oh, better hide, Arthur Morgan. Better hide. This dude is still alive, dude. Ooh, babe. Sit that ass down, sucker. I think I shot that man in the fucking penis. Alright. This reminds me of, like, Scarface. Like, but instead of, like, Bronte is the Scarface. And then we're, like, the other dudes coming out of nowhere from the back of the mansion. It's kind of crazy. These dudes actually got money. Hold on here, man. I didn't realize this, but these are rich folks. Arthur, come on. Shut your ass up. Dutch. These dudes got money, man. Look at this. Arthur! <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Look out! 
Sorry. All right, sorry. All right, fine. Let me just walk in there like it's all good. All right, I need some more dead eye. Need to replenish my dead eye here. Oh, dear God. Sit down. Alright. Alright, so there's some people back there. There's another dude over here. Sit down. You just sit down and inspect. I don't know. Ain't nobody got time to be inspecting no letters right now, man. All right, hold on. God, man, my dead eye is always just freaking on the brink of just completely depleting. Coming down the stairs. Shut up, man. <laughs> Check upstairs. He's not down here. Oh, he must be scared now. You think you're the mob boss now? Well, guess what, sucker? You don't fucked up, A.A. Ron. We're here to clear out the building. Let's check every room. It's just me and my gangsters. Kick the hell. Nobody knocking on no door. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> dude, that man took bullets. This is his room for real. He's right there. I'm sorry, friend. No, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. First, I'm gonna loot him. He's gotta have some money on him. A hundred, hundred fifty-five dollars, just like that. All right, let's carry this. Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Take Bronte to Dutch. Holy crap! Yeah, I just missed all my four bullets. Let's go, let's go. Let's have a party. All right, he's already dead. Oh yeah. Look at me carrying a body and still getting these damn licks on. These damn headshots. All right. <clears throat> Need to push forward, guys. Yo, this gun is super strong. This is gonna be good. Put him in the front. <coughs> Bill. Bill. Got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. <sighs> yep. <laughs> oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Your pussy. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. 
You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? <laughs> they are even bigger <laughs> fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. <laughs> Our friends of Pinkerton are gonna come and rescue you? You <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 Call them now! You call them! Oh! Jesus! What part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow? The goddamn alligator! <laughs> the part that covers weakness. That part. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. This is when I guess as people start seeing that this guy's a fucking maniac. Oh, well, now we don't get the money. So, what was the point of that, Dutch? You dumb dumb. <clears throat> Everywhere we go, we mess things up, dude. Everywhere. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. Revenge is a dish best eaten. Alright guys, I think we're going to end the episode here, right by the swamp. Our boy Arthur is looking fresh, but probably tired as hell. His beard is already growing out too, which is kind of funny. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun one indeed. And uh, until we meet again. <laughs>